Welcome back, Rankers. Had a great day in Sydney yesterday at CBIT, presented at the Enterprise uh, Conference at CBIT, and uh, a room full of nerds. It was great. I hadn't done a presentation to a room full of nerds for years, and you can get all geeky. So that was good fun. Um, would have been good to see some more women there, though. I mean, there was about five women in a room of 200 people. Um, talk about reinforcing uh, IT industry stereotypes. Today I just want to get right into having a look at someone's site uh, who needs some help and it's, I wish I knew the person's name, it's, I don't know, but it's a, a hairdresser and I know I'm the worst person in the world to talk about hairdressing but let's go and have a look at the site anyway. Okay, if we go to the home page, one of the first things I will do when I'm looking at a site to see why it's not ranking or how it's ranking or anything else is the first thing is find out what Google knows about your site. So simply go to Google, search there for Stephen Conroy, what a surprise, and type in site, colon, and then the web address. And don't type in yourwebaddress.com as some people do. It's your actual web address, if that makes sense. Okay, then we see here that Google says there are six results. Now, that means that Google only knows about six pages on your site. So if your site is bigger than that, there is an issue. A couple of things that stand out for me straight away with this, though, is some interesting URLs down here when compared to the rest of the URLs. They're completely different in their queries and looks like they're coming out of a database or whatever. Um, but there's only two of them, which is odd. Uh, well, not odd, just not usual, put it that way. When I go and have a look at the site, I'll grab the code. And, you know, we've got the page title there, which is, is good. It's got your keywords in it. I would probably lose the commas, replace them with the pipe character. That's, uh, I'll show you what the pipe character is. That is on your shift and above the uh, enter key on most keyboards. And it's that character there. Use that instead of the comma. Because what you're trying to do is separate these phrases out so Google knows that it's about quality hairdressing and it's about spray tanning. It's not necessarily about quality hairdresser spray tanning. Um, by using a comma, you turn that into like a natural phrase. So by using a pipe, it separates it out. Raw hair creators, because that's the business name, I probably put that last. Uh, doesn't need to be first. Remember, the, the closer the keyword is to the start of the title or the paragraph or whatever it is, it gives it more weight or more importance, which makes sense. Remember, this is all about good labeling, good cataloging. Think of the Google bot as a librarian that needs to read all the codes. Okay. And, you know, I, who are raw hair creators and welcome? They're both opportunities to use your keywords. You could probably do some, some H1s there. I don't know if they are H1s. Let me just check that. Um, let's have a look here. H1, see what we got. No H1s. So you need some H1s on the front page. Now these are heading ones. And I would put them here. I would say put here, if quality hairdressers is something you want to rank for, and I don't know if it's such a good phrase, but, um, but then I don't get hairdressers, so what do I know? Um, you would put it here, quality hairdressers, instead of who are raw hair creators, put quality hairdressers as a H1. Uh, and similarly here, welcome, I'd probably ditch the word welcome because it, it doesn't do anything for you, uh, and, and put some, uh, a keyword in there. I would go and check these, these phrases at Google Insights for search. So if you just go to Google uh, Insights, and... Just to give yourself a reality check, it's quite often difficult doing your keyword analysis because you don't know uh, if it's something people are actually going to type in. But that's what you're trying to work out. Can people type it in? Quality hairdressers. Now, because you're only servicing you know, a, a defined geographical area, you, you don't do hairdos online, I presume. Uh, see, now I've put quality hairdressers in there and there's nothing. No one types that in. If I type hairdressers, what happens? Okay, we get a bit of action there. And what I would do then is put in hairdressers Newcastle, because I think that is going to be, oh sorry, you say Newcastle, don't you? Sorry. Um, 
Okay, so if I delete that first one so I can see what's happening here. Okay, we get a bit more action there. So with quality hairdressers, we get nothing. With hairdressers Newcastle, uh, we get something. Now in Australia, it will be interesting. Mm, not much, not much call for it in Australia by the looks of it. But you got to play around with that. I, now, just because Google Insights for search says it doesn't have enough volume, doesn't mean no one's typing it in. You don't want to get um, a thousand people to your website a day, right? That would be bad for you. Uh, you wouldn't be able to handle it. You, well, I'm, I'm assuming that you've got here about 10 chairs, so a thousand people ringing up for appointments is not a good idea. However, you need to get quality uh, customers hitting your site, and so for that, zero in on the sorts of things that you're doing. Uh, I, you know, there might be a particular hairstyle. Uh, I know some people that have hair, and they have all sorts of things done to them, all sorts of treatments and things, costs a fortune. Um, but they're the things you need to focus on, those words. If there's some hot topic or some strange keratin treatment, see there, I used a hair thing there. Um, that's what you need to focus on, maybe get ranked for that for your geographical area. The big things that I see with this site that you need to fix, there's a lot of outbound links on it, which isn't going to help you. Outbound links, basically you're leaking link love to other sites. Now, unless these people have paid, or you've got some sort of discount to have these links on your site, get rid of them. This one here, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Allison, I'm sorry, KCM Systems, and I'm sorry, Weblight, but there is three uh, outbound links there, and these three sites are getting link love from your site. So get rid of it, because it's on every page. The other thing that stood out for me is your Contact Us page. Uh, is fine, that wasn't the problem. Uh, services and products, there was a page here that had a problem. I'll find it in a second. Maybe we'll shop online. Oh, no, there it is, it's on the front page. Front page, you've got a broken link. It's a subscription button for MailChimp, but it's busted. So that's not helping you either. And where is the other one? There was another problem here. I think it was in the shopping online area. Maybe it was that one. Yeah, that's not good. So that's taking you straight to the login page of your CMS. So there's a bunch of things there that you can do. If you get the, if you get the, get rid of the outbound links is one of the things I'd do first. And then also just get the H1s on that front page and more backlinks. You do definitely need more backlinks. You've only got four backlinks. Um, and, and look, you know, people say, oh, you need lots of back, backlinks to, to rank. That's not necessarily true, but you do need some. And I would suggest either starting up your own blog, just on, just go and get a WordPress blog, start your own blog, link back to, to your uh, main site, or just go and find some forums that talk about different hairstyles and that sort of thing and contribute to those forums and get back links that way. But make sure you contribute, don't just go in there and spam. Uh, but the links that you have, you only have uh, four backlinks that, um, that Google will know about at the moment. Get Webmaster Tools installed and see if there are any errors with your site. Because I have a feeling there may be some issues there that there used to be content there and now there's not. It's just what I'm seeing here in the index looks a bit odd. And hopefully that's helpful and uh, we'll see you next week. Thanks very much. Bye.